So I finally decided to go full standalone. Um, this thing just won't work. I can't really troubleshoot it much more than I have already, and nobody seems to have info out there So uh, about my specific problem, at least. Uh, I've tracked down the ASD circuit so many times. I, it seems right. The alternator is getting voltage, but it's not charging. And uh, I can talk to the ECU over OBD2, but it just doesn't seem to want to do anything. It, it's just sitting there. Won't charge the battery. Won't run the cooling fans. Just won't do anything. So I think I'm just going to ditch it. I only really needed uh, the cooling fans and the alternator to charge. Uh, and I should be good to go. I'll have to kind of rewire the AC and make it a little... Like, just have a dumb switch in there instead of actually ECU controlled, but that's okay. So, uh, actually, I might lose cruise control as well, but I'll, I'll kind of see. I'm going to leave it in there and play with it for a while, see if I can get anything figured out. But um, I can do without cruise if I need to, it's no big deal. Um, so, I did need to get this uh, voltage regulator. Uh, I know Semtech sells one, I got this one on Amazon. So, I'll try to put the part number in the description. Uh, in case you actually want to get one of these, it was like $17, so that plus a couple of relays is all I really need to go full standalone, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, I just threw some self-tappers in there. I don't really know what's behind here, so don't just assume that I looked and put yours there if you're going to be doing one of these, so um, I'm hoping it's fine. I think it's fine. Anyway, so I ran the wire. It's this blue thing. It's actually three wires. Two of them go to... Uh, one of the connectors and two go to the other. Actually, the middle connector is going to be your battery 12 volt reference. Uh, verify that, but basically, it's coming out of this connector and it's this. Let's see if you can see it's this blue wire. It actually, comes up over here and into my fuse block here. So I labeled it alternator there. Got a 10 amp fuse on it. Really, all this is powering. Oh, let's go see what happens is this is basically a voltage reference so that the charge controller here knows uh, also known as voltage regulator uh, knows how much charge the battery needs basically if it's low it's going to see oh it's only at 11 volts i probably need to kick the current up some so the other wire is a ground wire and so it's going to modulate that ground the case itself is grounded already uh, through these self tappers up here so you have to mount it on metal uh, grounded metal but I think should be good to go with that. Uh, so this other switched ground wire, they both go into a shielded cable here, although that's just, just because that's what I had. Drops down and plugs into the alternator. You can actually see, see. Okay, this is the diagram from Simtech Labs. Uh, you can see at the top, that's the auto shutdown relay providing 12 volts to this. I'm actually ditching that all together and using my uh, fuse block. Uh, to, to provide power for that. And you can see it goes to the middle pin, that's the battery voltage reference, uh, and then the top pin of the alternator, which is the uh, positive side of the field coil. So the wire at the bottom there that's connected to the left pin on the voltage regulator is basically modulating the ground of that so that they can control the current in the field windings and when you control the current up in the field windings you're going to get more current out of the alternator so um, basically uh, the more voltage it's, it needs to charge basically if it sees a low voltage on that center pin it's going to increase the current through the field coils it's going to give it some more power to charge the battery I also went ahead and unhooked the coil wire that drives the ASD relay so that I don't get 12 volts down on the alternator uh, while I've got that connection cut. Uh, I didn't tape it up or anything, it's just kind of land in there. So uh, be sure that you take care of that if you plan to keep your ASD circuit intact. So uh, pull those wires or clean them up or something. One more thing to say if you're planning to get one of these. The connector did not come with it, and I'm sure you can find them uh, off some older Dodge vehicles, but Simtech Labs sells them with pigtail soldered on, I believe, and so I figured that's what I would do, but basically you have to put a lot of heat into the thing to get them to take uh, solder, so keep that in mind. They were kind of a pain, especially that middle pin where you have to solder up two wires. Uh, it was, or at least that's the way I did it, but... Um, 
it was it was quite a pain to solder so seems like I got a good connection but it sure took a little while 